G'day, I'm Michael Thompson. I'm a Big Fix Technical Advisor for the Asia Pacific region based in Melbourne, Australia. I wanted to do a short video today just to talk about Windows 11. It's obviously um, due to be released very soon and just wanted to talk to you about Windows 11 and how Big Fix is um, postured to help you with uh, your migration plans for Windows 11. So looking at the release date, it's due to be released on October the 5th, 2021. As far as an agent readiness goes, our um, Big Fix agent supports Windows 11 from version 10.0.4. We'll also have patch content available from the first patch Tuesday after the win uh, Windows 11 release on October the 5th. And OSD support is expected to come in late October for those customers that are using Lifecycle for doing OS deployments and bare metal builds. Just like um, other upgrades for Windows from Windows 7 to Windows 10 and previously from Windows XP to Windows 7, there is some planning that's required. Uh, Windows 11 seems to be a little bit more complex than what it has been in the past. Certainly you need to have a um, motherboard or a hardware that supports TPM 2.0. There's also a requirement for four gigabytes of RAM. We need 64 gigabytes of storage. Our motherboard needs to be UEFI and secure boot capable. Obviously have to have a compatible 64 bit processor. Our graphics card needs to be compatible with DirectX 12 or later. We need to have a display that's 720p capable and greater than nine inches diagonally. And finally, if we're doing Windows 11 Home install, that requires internet connectivity. So there's lots of considerations that you really need to take into account when you're looking at migrating and upgrading from you know, Windows 10 to Windows 11. And that can be a little difficult, but luckily with um, Big Fix, we've got you covered. So I'm just gonna show you some of the capabilities that we're going to have for you to help you with that planning. So these will get released in the BES inventory and license site for those customers that have lifecycle available. Because they haven't been released yet, I actually have them in a custom site. So we have an analysis here for Windows 11 eligibility. And if we have a look at the results here, we can see these systems here are doing some checks on pass and fail for various different components here. We also have a dashboard, which is going to provide you with a nice clean overview of what systems have passed all the checks, what have failed. We also have a probe task here, which can be run to check on the video card capability, which feeds back into that analysis that we have. Finally, we also have a custom web report that's going to be released in the BES inventory and license site as well for our lifecycle customers and it's also called Windows 11 eligibility. So this is very similar to our um, dashboard that we've got. Provides all the checks that it's doing as well as whether they pass for each system and a total pass rate. And you'll also be able to export these reports to CSV to be able to report on. So in summary, when you're moving to Windows 11, the big fixation is already supporting that particular platform version. There's certainly going to be some planning required before you do move to Windows 11, but luckily Big Fix is here to help you with the content that we've got coming to our BES inventory and license site for our lifecycle and inventory modules. So thanks for watching this short video today. You can find more information from bigfix.com. You can raise support cases through support.bigfix.com. And forum.bigfix.com is a great place to keep up to date on what's happening with product releases, as well as ask the community for other bits of information around Big Fix. Also, you can see our um, social pages there that you can engage with us through. Thanks for watching. Bye for now. If you enjoyed this video, please click like. If you'd like to be notified when there's updates, please subscribe to the Big Fix TA YouTube channel. The link is below.